Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is your daily dose of magic and today is a pick a card reading. I am so excited to share with you this new little setup that I've got going and we're going to see how this unfolds today depending on what card you choose. We have got card number one right here card number two, card number three. So I want you guys to really take a moment to just tune into the energy of these three cards. And I want you to intuitively feel into what one you are drawn towards. Now, you cannot see anything on the cards, right? This is complete blank. It is the back of the Heavenly Bodies Astrology Tarot deck right here. Actually, it's not a tarot deck. It's an astrology deck, but I will be using tarot to clarify the messages that you guys need to know today based off what card you choose. So I'm really excited to see what spirit have to say to help you unstuck yourself and to help you live a life that's true to your authentic expression of self. Maybe that's a little message coming through already for all of you that this week is going to be about your full expression of self. Maybe for one of the cards, depending on what you choose. So definitely take a moment, feel into it. Card number one here, card number two, and card number three and let's go from there remember this is a general reading so take what resonates and leave what doesn't and if any messages make you feel a little uncomfortable remember the truth can be a little uncomfortable so i encourage you to sit tight but if you feel like i said it doesn't resonate just drop it. It doesn't matter. You do not need to take it on. There is a disclaimer below knowing that this is for entertainment purposes only and should never replace medical or professional advice. All right, beautiful souls, you guys chose card number one. So let's see what we have here. We have Neptune. What a beautiful energy that you guys are about to tap into this week. This is the card of dreams and transcendence, right? So in astrology, I'm just going to pop this over here so we can see what this is all about. Um, but this is the card that is all about making your dreams and wishes come true. I feel like there's going to be an abundance of, for some reason, I feel like there's going to be abundance of information coming for you or coming towards you, or you're becoming aware of a lot more um, information about your dreams this week. So you may not see the physical manifestation of your dreams, or you might, but if for some reason, I'm feeling like there's going to be some information you're going to get, like critical information about how to make your dreams come true. So this could mean any, like any aspect of life. I haven't gone into the tarot yet to see see what is coming up but there is a very strong message here around you guys very much kind of getting some critical information that's going to help you or catapult you into your, the next phase of your journey of manifestation whatever it is you are manifesting for a lot of you as well I am getting what's called uh, what's called property so something around coming up around property if you guys um, are wanting to invest in property or becoming a first home buyer or whatever there is going to be some messages come to light or some information come to light about how to actually make that a real thing because it feels like up until this point guys if you have you know if you did choose card number one here with Neptune it does feel like maybe you've been waiting for this to come to fruition or you've been trying to put the steps together and nothing's fully come up or the whole picture hasn't played out just yet but that is about to change at the bottom of the deck we have the world look at that I don't usually read the bottom of the deck but I absolutely love this for you guys successful confusions successful confusions okay someone may be confused at how easy the success is when it comes to this card i don't know why that came through but there is a lot of successful conclusions right so again dreams manifesting and achievement energy so the world is changing in your favor i love this for you guys let's see what else came up for you you've got the two of wands look at this Decisions to leave the comfort zone, whatever information you receive about this dream that you guys have been wanting to achieve, um, it definitely will require you, you know, jumping into something that doesn't feel comfortable, but it's like, you know, let's say you've been renting your whole life and that's comfortable for you. What's going to be uncomfortable is having a mortgage or having repayments that you have to, you know, pay back or getting a loan or like whatever it is, it's going to be uncomfortable, but you got the world. And you've got the two of ones here. How amazing is that, guys? Your dreams are coming true. This is an amazing energy to have coming forward and obviously Neptune in your corner. We also have the page of wands. Free spirit, excitement, and feelers. Guys, you have some amazing energy coming through for you guys today. Wow, if you chose number one, I'm like, oh my God, I want to choose number one. It's a really incredible energy when it comes to um, you feeling, I feel like there's been a lot of fire energy over the past couple of um, readings that I've done. Um, and you guys do have a lot of energy in terms of like the fire being reignited because I feel like there was a missing part of information or a critical um, piece of the puzzle that is now coming together and you're going to finally see how it all manifests, how it all will come to fruition. It's like, 
I feel like you knew two things and the third, which is the world, has kind of come together to say, this is how you make it possible. You're now standing at the beginning and the creation of this new vision fully in the real world. It's like you've got the thing now, you've got the piece of information, you're ready to go out and create it. It's going to bring a lot of good luck, good fortune, a lot of adventure, a lot of excitement. I actually feel like for some of you as well, that whatever dream you've been wanting to manifest, whether it might have to do with something more grounded, but I actually see a lot more adventure coming for you guys. So if you're choosing and you've chosen card number one, there's a message of whatever you're grounding into or whatever investment you are grounding into at the moment, whatever dream you have, it's actually going to give you more space to be your free spirited self. So maybe you you feel like I don't know why I'm getting so many around property like so many messages around you know when you think about property maybe you're building a house or whatever but you can think of it in any way right you need to lay the foundations you need a critical information of what goes where and you know how to make it strong and stable for you to fully thrive in that house for you to be creative same as any project. Let's say you can apply this to business as well. Maybe you guys have been wanting to start a business or you're in business. I'm getting for most of you who are choosing this card, you're actually in business already or you're in a job position. It does feel like the last few years have been laying the foundation. You've been kind of waiting for the world to show you and reflect back at you how much effort you've put in. And now you're kind of standing here going, yeah, let's do it. Like I'm ready. I've already left my comfort zone a multitude of times. I'm so ready to create the next step now. And that's going to allow me to become more free spirited and to allow myself to fully expand into the version of me that I know is possible and a true reflection of myself. Let's get some more clarity around this. Angel Spirit guides, what other messages does Spirit have for you? What's the advice? What is the advice for those who chose card number one? I would love if you guys could subscribe below, hit the notification bell if it feels like it aligns with you and you want some, you know, more updates about when videos come out, which by the way is five times a week. Um, and definitely comment on the YouTube video below as well if it's resonating. I love to hear feedback. I get back to each and every single one of you. All right, guys, you have the sun, self-expression and embodying your truth. Didn't I just say to you just then that you'll have so much free-spirited energy um, to kind of actually create your true self or have that be embraced because the world is now reflecting back at you what effort you've been putting into it, right? So everything you've basically been working towards internally is going to manifest um, more so in the real world, not in the real world. I find that our inner truth and our inner world is more real than anything tangible. But in this moment, it's a very tangible energy that I'm getting for you here. And it is a chance to, with your dreams and your fulfillment and your wishes, it is a chance for you to fully align yourself with who you really are who the world sees. I'm getting this message of you'll finally present your true, most authentic self to the world and it will be accepted. This is the thing that actually makes your dreams come true. Um, again, I'm getting a message around property. Let's say you're dealing with a really, um, hard, I'm getting this message. I don't know who this is for, but it's kind of like if you're dealing with an agent that's tough or someone that's difficult to deal with and everyone's telling you like, you got to do this and you got to do that. And you're like, I'm just going to be myself. I'm just going to ask the right questions that I feel is right. I'm going to just do the thing. I'm going to just give it a go. I'm going to give it a crack. I'm just going to be myself. And I am just going to trust that spirit and the world are supporting me with this because I now have the information I need and I'm fearless. Like I'm right. I'm, I'm just going to, I'm just going to stand here ready uh, to walk into my dreams. I feel like you are standing ready to walk into your dreams as your most authentic expression of self. And that's what actually creates this dream in the reality world. It feels like maybe even up until this point, you've tried to be someone else, haven't really been aware that you have been being someone else. Um, I do feel as well, there was like a bit of a fear of rejection is coming up. Um, I feel like that's why this fearless energy is coming up as well of like, you're like, you know what? If you don't like me, if you don't like where I'm headed, like I've got the world going for me, right? I am ready. I am ready for this. I've got the world at my fingertips and I'm ready to do this as my most authentic self. I do see that some of you, though, may feel a little bit alone. So here's the caveat here to your reading. And of course, they're going to bring this up. I'm a Scorpio. So of course, we're going to go into the absolute depths of this reading. It, I am getting a message, though, although you're kind of embodying and you feel really good expressing your true authentic self, there's a very strong message here around you maybe feeling a little alone. I'm going to get some clarity around this drop in from spirit. Why do they feel alone? What's happening? What do they need to know? 
It just feels like it's highlighted some people who aren't in alignment with the dream that you want to create. Yeah, letting go, discernment. You guys have had to have a lot of discernment around who it is you want in your corner and whether or not they align with where you are headed in terms of your dreams and wishes. Because if you are aligning yourself and hanging around people who kind of don't want the best for you, right? I feel like some people aren't where they want to be in life and they're not embodying their true self. They're kind of just going with the motions. You're seriously letting all of that go. I feel like you've got a different perspective on life now. You've got a different perspective on the world um, and it definitely signifies here that you're breaking old patterns and it's going to become really clear and evident the moment that you step into and embrace this beautiful free-spirited energy this fearless energy that I feel like you might have had when you were a lot younger there is a in a child energy like a playful I'm hearing children laughing maybe you have actual kids and they're bringing a lot of light to your life or maybe you're having children and you, that's like a dream come true for you or maybe you're trying to get pregnant this is a really good sign I don't know who needs to know that, but you are very much letting go of kind of like anyone who doesn't bring me that ch like joyful childlike energy and laughter doesn't really belong in my world, right? Because it feels like you want people who are just as fearless, just as courageous, just as lighthearted as you. I feel like you're going to take um, a very lighthearted approach into this next phase of, I want to say around three months. Let's just get some clarity around that. For the next three months, for the next three months, what energy is coming up? Look at this, victory, triumph. You've got the six of wands here. I love this card so much. This is um, this is Leo energy. This is very like, I'm here, I'm ready. I've done the thing, I'm victorious. Watch me, it's public. Kind of feels like it's a very public energy. People may see you on display. Um, it does feel like maybe some of your dreams and everything you're wanting to create and how you're going to transform your karma is in a public way. So some of you, you know, let's say, um, let's say you have a YouTube channel, right? And you've been building it and building it. That's your dream. Um, and you're really wanting to, you know, express your authentic self and you become fearless and courageous and you're super excited about it. This shows me here, let's say this is you or you're wanting to build a business. This shows me right here that you will be victorious. You will be successful. Um, you may even get some awards or you may win something. Um, there is a lot of praise as well. You may get a lot of testimonials coming in for your business, but there are just some people who are going to recognize you finally for what you're worth and that wasn't happening before as I said earlier guys your internal world is and has been kind of being worked on and it's finally going to reflect in your external world showing right here with the six of wands right and you have had to go through like I said it might be feeling a little bit lonely for you at the moment you may just feel like you are hanging on a bit of a tree there kind of like going you know what like what's kind of happening right now right but I feel like the sun is behind his head right here and I feel like you can see um you can see the sun you can see the light which is funny because we have the sun here and I completely forgot about that right so guys, that is your message for today's Pick a Card reading. Definitely like, subscribe, share, and comment if it feels aligned with you. I cannot wait to see you in the next reading. And uh, yeah, let's move on. So you guys chose card number two. Let's see what spirit has in store for you. All right, we have air sign, open-mindedness, objectivity, and lessons learned. All about the learning, all about the mindscape. I definitely feel like some of you guys um, are actually going to potentially... I'm going with the words like lean in. You may lean in. I don't know whether you'll exactly study in this moment. It feels like you're leaning into the energy of exploring different course options, different options for maybe even a career shift. I highly recommend you watch this Thursday's reading. I haven't channeled it yet, but I'm getting a message. If you've chosen this card, we're going to go more into career. And I don't know why you need to know that, but if you've chosen this card, watch Thursday's reading because it all goes into soul, soul purpose. And I feel like there's going to be some information coming up around kind of learning, using your mind, being open, open-minded about certain things. So let's get some clarity around what exactly you are learning, what exactly you're being open-minded about. Angel spirit guides, let's see what these individuals need to learn, what these beautiful souls need to learn. I hope everyone's going well today. Definitely subscribe if you feel like it aligns and you want to see more of this content. It would really support my channel if you also commented below and liked it, gave it a little bit of a thumbs up, would be very helpful. All right, Angel Spirit Guides. Yeah, I actually feel like for a lot of you, um, you've been able to kind of have, oh, Spirit definitely have something to say, don't they? You have had to kind of go through a lot of mental battles recently with people that you didn't see coming. 
Yeah. Yeah. You've had a need to move forward here. You've got the six of cups reversed. I definitely feel like you've had a need to move forward from people who weren't kind of emotionally fulfilling you on a very deep level. I do very much feel like you may have been clinging to the past quite a lot, especially mentally. Um, so yes, emotionally, of course, but on a mind and emotional level, I feel like you were stuck for a really long time. I feel like you were under this whole, I want to say the spell of a resolution. So I feel like you may have even felt stuck in some spell where you constantly just had to resolve a certain issue. So I don't know who this is going to resonate with. It might not resonate with all of you. Remember, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. But I am feeling for some of you that you harbored resentment or you harbored some sort of emotional angst towards a situation. And I feel like karmically, it actually kept coming up and you were very much clinging to the past, which kind of had you be trapped in the same stories of the mind, right? I feel like your mental health may have kind of deteriorated for a while, but this is all about open-mindedness, new, pers new perspectives. Um, it doesn't really feel like I'm getting the energy here of like, you being off with the fairies. I just doesn't feel like, you know, how sometimes people say like someone's airheaded. Like I don't see that at all with this card. Um, I don't know why I'm mentioning that. Maybe you got told that when you were younger, like you were an airhead or something. Um, I remember my coach saying something like that, either to me or someone else and I cannot remember but it was very like offensive. Um, but no, you are not sinking into that energy. You are actually opening up. And the reason why you have been able to open up on a mental level is because emotionally you were able to let a lot from the past go. I feel like you may have been even um, resolving a lot of inner child kind of hurt feelings is the message I'm getting. Maybe you felt really hurt as an inner child, or maybe you're unaware of that right now and you need to do some inner child work. But I am getting that. Yeah, look, the stuff coming up around the inner child is the emotional manipulation, abuse, um, abuse of power. Uh, not basically, um, I want to say maybe failed duty of care towards you. I feel like this made you feel like you were weak, um, maybe even weak minded, which is why I said airhead. That's interesting. So what's coming up is that maybe you felt like a bit of an airhead, like you didn't know what you were doing, like you maybe didn't have an openness towards other people's opinions and maybe you felt like you were going to be stuck in the past for a long time. But no, you've done a lot of work on forgiveness. You have healed a lot of your um, kind of issues around people deceiving you, people manipulating you, right? You definitely did go through this, which is interesting because my coach um, as a gymnast definitely abused his power. Um, and I just did mention then that he definitely called one or two of us an airhead every now and again, amongst many other things um, that I'm not gonna go into in this reading. But okay, so that's the information coming through right now what is some other information that spirit needs you to know right now what advice does spirit have and we'll just get deeper into that guys i hope you're all doing well still very hot here it's crazy we've had jackhammering still happening all day people so i haven't been able to record until it's like the hottest time in the day in the afternoon um so again if i'm sweating soz but that's just what being a human's all about, isn't it? You just show up. Yeah, Chiron, look, you guys have been doing a lot of hurt and healing, right? Chiron is the placement um, of the wounded healer, but this is going to make you whatever you went through, right? Whatever you went through, whatever you have been healing, whatever you have been walking away from, you know, in the past, whoever did manipulate you or abuse their power on you, it does feel like a masculine energy here. I would say toxic masculine. If anything, there's a lot of male energy coming up. Um, definitely here you've had to do a lot of healing, but your mess is going to be your message, right? So whatever has been coming up for you in the past, you've done a lot of healing around that, which is beautiful. Um, and it's going to help you actually spread awareness. There's a really beautiful healing, um, energy coming up here. And the, the reason I kind of mentioned the core stuff before is maybe you actually want to teach what you've been through. Maybe you actually want to teach in a child work. Maybe you want to dive a little bit deeper and help people on either a mental or emotional um, kind of sense. It doesn't feel very body-like. It doesn't feel like you'll be doing a lot of work with the body, um, but it does feel like you'll be working a lot in the mental mindscape as well as the emotions of a person because you actually know what it's like now to kind of go through that um, and transform it. So you have transformed your wounds from the past, people. How magical is that? I love this for you. All right, so what can they do with this? <clears throat> What can they do with this mess that has become their message? All right, let's see. There was another card that popped up somewhere here as well. 
Yep. Here we go. Alright. So, yeah, look, you got manipulation twice here, guys. Where is it? You got the magician reversed and the king of swords reversed. You've got manipulation twice here. So someone definitely manipulated their powers. I feel like whoever you were dealing with was a very powerful person in your childhood. I feel like because you were little, um, that got taken advantage of. You were definitely taken advantage of and that fucked you up. I won't lie. And I mean, fucked up in the way that you transformed and healed it guys though, you know, but you felt like there was maybe no way out, but you needed a different perspective on a mental level, but you also needed to um, uh, release a lot of em emotion, right? I feel like whatever you did go through around, um, you know, this abuse of power and things like that, there's definitely like you struggle to communicate your needs, especially in relationships, because look at this, we've got the two of cups here. This is showing me that whatever you did go through as a child, right? This is a very innocent, youthful child kind of energy here with the six of cups. It does feel like whoever did abuse you or, you know, again, like when I say, you know, abuse, I, I use that lightheartedly. I am qualified to, you know, coach on this stuff. But for this reading, it is entertainment purposes only. Remember, seek medical attention or advice or book a healing session with me because I am qualified in diving into this stuff if anything is triggered within this reading. So please just know I am, you know, I've got a duty of care towards you guys and I want to make sure that I live up to that because I've been through it, right? My mess became my message. I went through it. I chironed the shit out of my, my past, right? I had to hurt and I had to heal. So there was a message here around you not really feeling like you could be your magical, abundant, um, confident and self-expressive self within partnership. Because if you are like the feminine watching this or you identify as the feminine, um, whether that's female, male, whatever, there was a message here. It's very much around like a masculine energy abusing their power. It could even be like the system, governments, structures, um, people, you know, your teachers in school, the coaches you had, the relationships you were in, your father figure, your grandfather, a brother, an older brother, whatever it is. But there's a message here around your past relationships with the masculine has affected your ability to show intimacy and be super intimate when it comes to relationships. You've shown in the past a lot of hesitation to trust as well is the message I'm getting. There's been a lot of hesitation to trust, obviously, because that has been used against you. You definitely trusted in this person um, when you were younger. I feel like you had no choice. I'm getting not a choice. You didn't have a choice, but to trust the path that you were on, but to trust that this person was going to have their best interest um, at heart. And that's affected your ability to trust in relationships big time, because I feel like you've had to become very hyper vigilant is the word coming through. You've had to become hyper vigilant. You have learned a lot, how to harness that energy and learn to kind of tame the beast inside of your mind. But there is a message here coming forward around, you know, you've done a lot of healing around the masculine or a lot of healing around this yeah, authority figure or some masculine figure in your life. And it's definitely affected your ability to be intimate within relationship, but that is all changing. So let's get another message here. How's that all going to change? How's that all going to change? Angel spirit guides. How is that all going to change for you? Cause it's changed. It's changed. You've done this, right? You've done this. It's just showing me where you're at. All right. How is this going to change for the better? You have got house two, physical security, self-worth, material values. Beautiful. So the one thing I'm looking at this with house two here is honestly self-worth. Um, and security. I feel like you have learned to, instead of project everything you need in a partner, I feel like you've had to be the magician itself, knowing you have everything you need in your toolbox, no matter what life throws your way, that you are resourceful, that you know that security comes from within so that if someone leaves you or, you know, if someone manipulates you or someone abuses their power, you know that you haven't placed all your security and all your needs and all your trust in them and that you have access to that. You have grown in self-worth you are not copying shit from anyone anymore. You have done a lot of forgiveness and healing. You have not just walked away from this situation being like, actually, the healing's too hard. No. Chiron, the wounded healer, will not like kind of, you know, it's kind of speaking to me right now saying like they didn't, they, this wasn't a light journey. This was not a light journey that you guys have had to go through. There's like manipulation, abuse of power coming up, people persuading you into thinking that they were doing the right thing. I'm getting the word gaslight. Maybe you feel like you were gaslit and not understood and not, um, not, uh, you couldn't trust yourself. You couldn't trust your own voice, right? You, you couldn't trust your own voice. You couldn't trust what you were thinking because you were constantly, um, kind of 
confronted with, that's not true, that's a lie, you're making it up, you're an airhead. Like whatever words people projected onto you very much affected your self-worth, right? Very much affected your self-worth. But this is what's changed. This is what's changed. So um, I feel like you've learned, the biggest thing you've learned is how to uh, emotionally forgive and move on and stop clinging to the past. You've learned to take a new perspective on trauma um, and that people, what they do is a reflection of them, not a, a direct reflection of you. You've just had to go through that and learn from that. But the biggest part that you'll be learning here on out is definitely how to manage yourself in relationship. Um, let's just get one more bit of clarity around how you can manage your relationships from here on out. What is the advice? What is the advice? Angel Spirit Guides. Woo. Let's go with that. Yeah. The nightmares will be over. The nightmares are gone. Uh, whatever fear and anxiety you had around relationships, just be mindful. Like I say, it's gone. Um, but if it may creep up because again, you, you learned not to trust yourself, right? You had to learn self-worth and what it meant to be secure and to give yourself what you needed. Um, and you've also got, I want to not read this reverse for some reason. I'm getting a very strong energy around not reading this. Um, but you are definitely tapping into your youthfulness. Um, you're definitely tapping into inspiration within relationship um, and kind of getting the playfulness back. I almost want to flip this up now because the cards, they do things with me throughout readings. So they'll come up reversed and then we transform something in the reading and then it gets flipped up uh, in a really beautiful way. So we've got the six of cups here and this is all about healing and nostalgia and looking back on your childhood not being so so heavy. So you've had to do a lot of hurt and heal, Chiron, around your childhood, right? Around feeling like your, you know, ideas weren't valued. Maybe your voice wasn't listened to. But that has definitely all changed now um, because you now trust yourself and you're looking forward to the past. You're looking forward to creating connections with people. You're very curious around how to express this new part of yourself or it's not even a new part of yourself. It's a refound or reignited part of you that was suppressed when you were younger and now that's going to very much help you move forward within relationships to be super prosperous abundant very loving learning to trust learning to feel secure in relationship again learning to you know know that um a relationship can bring security and it's not always going to be you know used against you um so that's really important to know here Okay, beautiful people. That is it for reading number two. Remember, if any of that triggered you, it was a bit of a deep reading. Uh, reach out for me for a one-on-one -on -one healing session or an in-depth one-on-one psychic reading and we can go even deeper into what you're going through and we can even do some healing along with that as well. I hope you have a magical day today, guys. I'll see you in the next video. For those of you who chose card number three, I've got your card right here, people. Let's see and dive into what spirit we need you to know right now. The first message I'm getting before I unravel this and show you is it's okay to be selfish right now. It's okay to be selfish. Just want to put that little nugget in here. You've got house one, which is perfect. Individuality, self-image, and your approach to life, your physical body. Um, your personality, what people see in the world. You guys are very much tapping into expressing yourself very authentically and not really giving a crap what other people think. I feel like your approach to life may be a bit different or you're un you have a unique approach to life, very alternative. Maybe you're very mainstream and the people around you are all alternative. I have no idea, but it is just different. I'm getting a little bit of like black sheep vibes. Like maybe you feel a bit like you don't belong. Um, maybe you feel like you're from another galaxy, another planet. This is going super not where I expected it to go, but I feel like you are about to integrate all aspects of yourself, including the galactic parts of yourself. How exciting. Oh my God. I want to get more information. I want to get more information. Let's see what is coming up around house one for these beautiful souls who chose card number three angel spirit guides what exactly do we need to know about individuality selfishness expression of authenticity being original being unique apologies for any noise you can hear in the background everyone if you can maybe not i've had jack cameron going on all day that's been really difficult so i'm only just filming now in the hottest part of the day how wonderful all right guys yeah okay so it does feel like you've got the queen of pentacles reversed um i feel like you may have had a hard time grounding yourself into um this world i feel like you know the pentacles are very much about the material world um it's interesting because it's self-centered 
um, when this is reversed. But the thing is, I feel like maybe you have not ever known how to prioritize yourself without being self-centered. But the thing is, and Sad Guru, I don't know if you know him, but look him up on YouTube. He talks a lot about like, we are literally here for a self-centered um, kind of journey, right? We are literally here to experience the self. You are here to experience the self, but you can do it in a way that comes across very um, like, I don't care about anyone else. I don't care how I affect everyone else. Maybe you have come across that way. Um, you know, house one is, I'm pretty sure Aries and I am an Aries rising. So what you guys will see is Aries rising, really. Um, you guys will see me being very like firecracker energy, like gun ho kind of energy. And it can be a little bit blunt, um, very no BS, like straight to the point. Uh, don't have time for like fucking around kind of thing. And it can come across like a bit self-centered, right? Um, but I am getting this message here of like, I kind of want to flip it upside down already. I feel like we're transforming this because you're becoming soul-centered. You are not self-centered. You are soul-centered. Oh my God, I love it. Don't you love it? Yeah. And look. The Queen of Pentacles knows that she has to put the hard work in to achieve what she wants. She knows how to get there in a very grounded, soulful, um, kind of very practical way. So you're not kind of all off with the fairies. Maybe when you were in maybe a little bit of your self-centered tendencies, you tended to just be kind of, like I said, la-di-da, I'm just going through life, not really knowing or maybe even caring how this affected people, but there's a massive shift. Um, and by the way, if your ego is offended by this, I apologize, but also I don't because we need to call out the ego, call it forward for you to actually heal. But you've done a lot of healing around this already. Maybe people have told you like, hey, like, can you just slow down a bit? Or hey, like, can you just think about me for a second and my feelings? I do feel like this came from trauma though. Um, I do feel like maybe you felt like you have to be, had to be self-centered and self-sufficient. I'm getting this energy of some of you who chose this card had to be very self-sufficient, meaning you couldn't rely on your parents or people around you to um, nurture you and you kind of had to learn how to nurture yourself. I feel like you very much had to nurture yourself and this could have come across self-centered because you had to prioritize your needs for survival tendencies and for survival as like a survival coping mechanism, right? So I feel like you guys have done a lot of healing around kind of giving yourself what you need, nurturing yourself through the process of what you've wanted to create. Um, and that's why I'm saying it's okay to be selfish or soul-centered um, rather than like kind of taking everything for myself. I don't know why, but maybe you guys felt like you needed to take everything for yourself because you were afraid that someone was going to take something away from you. That's interesting. Did you in your childhood, and this could have played out in a myriad of ways, someone like some little kid could have stolen your toy and that could have registered as nothing belongs to me, but I need to like keep everything to myself. Or maybe, um, you know, could have been on a bigger scale than that potentially. And someone, you know, took your parents away from you or you, I don't know why I'm saying this. Um, obviously I'm trusting spirit, but I feel like something was taken away from you, snatched away from you. Maybe your passion was snatched away from you. And so you kind of had learned to like hang on to everything really tight. And that could have come off a little bit self-centered here in the reversal energy. And so, but now you've like healed a lot of that. I feel like you've kind of gone, you know what? There's enough for everybody. There is enough for everybody. There is enough for everyone to be themselves, enough abundance for everyone. And the more abundant I am, the more that I can help and heal others. Let's get some more energy around this. Yep, straight away we have we have the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, you guys have had you guys have done some really hard work in the material world. You're definitely going to see this pay off as well. This is the card of kind of you know working hard, being very practical in your approach. You've got a beautiful blend of masculine and feminine energy here. Um, I feel like as well in the future, in the next kind of couple of months, I'm getting about three months, you will start to kind of apply your creativity into the material world as well. Because you were coming from a survival mechanism before, I feel like you were taking everything in a quite fearful way. Now I feel like you're going to be like, what aligns with my soul? I'm going to take that, apply it to that. I'm going to leave that and then call this in. And you're allowing things to kind of come and go. Wow, what a beautiful energy. You're allowing things to come and go to help make your um, dreams kind of come true. I feel like although childhood may have been a bit of an interesting one for you because something was taken away from you, I do feel like tradition wasn't taken away from you. Uh, I do feel like you need to establish some sort of um, 
tradition maybe you create a new tradition in your family now like let's say you had dinner every Friday with your parents when you were younger I don't know and you kind of lost that along the way or things didn't turn out so good or there was an argument and it stopped it but for some reason tradition really works for you um, and it could be something really small and let's say you stopped that and now you want to reignite it so for some reason that's just one um, I feel like as well for some of you there could be marriage on the cards I am getting that some of you may feel like as well you were trying to balance out relationship with work uh, but you are right now kind of working hard for those of you who I feel like may get married very shortly um, and it does feel very shortly I'm speaking in the next one to two weeks I don't know who needs to hear that or what is happening there I'm gonna trust that that message gets to the right person um, but it does feel like whoever is getting married, like they've already got the work-life balance sorted out. But for those of you who are in partnership and want to get married, I feel like you'll be sorting out kind of work-life balance because in the next couple of months, your work will take precedent over your relationship. And that does not mean that we disregard relationship. No, but you will be a little bit more soul-centered. You will be a little bit more focused on your career, on like kind of what you want to create in the material world. Let's just say you're still fine tuning what it means to be soul centered and less self centered. Um, so you are if you are in partnership or if you are not in partnership and you are wanting to date. This is a very strong energy for kind of like getting your work in balance and your career in balance and knowing what you want to do before you find someone. But it doesn't mean it can't happen at the same time. I hate those coaches and things like that who tell you you got to work on yourself before you get in partnership. No, if you want to heal from relational part relational trauma, which is kind of coming up a little bit here you got to kind of be in relationship to people doesn't mean it needs to be intimate but relationships of sorts don't basically is what I'm getting don't push people away because you're healing relational trauma at this moment and you need to be around people but it isn't the main focus on your of your life right now you need to be around people because you're learning how to kind of be nurtured, how to, uh, you know, gain more compassion. Again, when we're kind of a bit self-centered and taking everything for ourselves out of survival, we're kind of only looking out for one person, which is ourselves. Some of you as well may be listening. I'm getting you may be kind of um, listening for a partner or you're kind of like I was drawn to like card number three because I, I feel like my partner, that's my partner's card. Maybe they've had narcissistic tendencies and this reading's about them. Uh, and I just want to say they will learn how to tap into this Cancerian energy here or you guys are going to as well. So it's not as if you guys aren't focusing on intimacy and relating and feeling nurtured and comforted. Um, it does feel like as well some of you may be wanting to really build a family or being at home. Uh, but that's only for a select few. This message of Cancer kind of doesn't feel like it's for all of you. Uh, let's get some tarot around here. Can we clarify cancer? Let's clarify cancer. Angel spirit guides, let's clarify cancer for us. Yeah, you may have felt really slowed down um, when it comes to building a family or kind of being, you know, the homebody per se. Um, I do feel like you, it's almost like because you are ready to kind of, you know, work really, really, really hard. Oh, I should put that up right now. Um, working really, really hard and you're kind of wanting to be a little bit more structured and have a bit more of a plan for this new thing you want to create on the ground. And you kind of need to be a little bit selfish about it and kind of, you know, apply your uniqueness to life, apply your uniqueness to what you're creating on the ground. It kind of feels like if you tap into this energy, that's why it's not for everyone, that it will slow you down. But there is a message for some of you that it will not slow you down, that that is exactly where you need to be. And you need to learn to be selfless within relationships relationships does not mean that your boundaries can be walked all over does not mean you can't say no does not mean any of that like you can't speak your truth it just means you may start to open your heart a little bit more beautiful okay what is kind of the outcome of this card so let's say you know they listen to spirits guidance what is kind of the overall energy coming up here clarifying house number one for card number three people Yes, cardinal, the cardinal sign, right? We've got bravery, a pioneering spirit, a very Aries energy. Um, this is a beautiful, uh, I don't even know if it is Aries energy. I actually have no idea. But for me, this is coming through as like house one, a kind of a pioneering spirit, right? It feels like, you know, the cancer card and, and things like that, the cancer energy, whoever that is, it feels like I'm just popping that over here. But we're kind of going to go back to the queen of pentacles and the knight of pentacles 
right here. And the message is that you guys are ready to be brave, to jump on that horse, to go get what you want to get, to work hard, to create the life that you actually want to create in a soul centered way, not a selfish way. Um, I feel like as well, you will be kind of uh, instigating change in other people's lives. Maybe you're a coach and you poke and prod, you know, at their brain and you kind of like, um, you know, does that belief align with you? Does that, I don't know why that's for someone, but it feels like you'll be instigating a lot of change within your environment. Um, but it's going to be coming from a lot more of a nurturing place. I feel like that's where Cancerian energy comes in for you this week um, is where you will be instigating change in a much more protective, comforting way. I'm going to give you a quick example. When I used to kind of do mediumship readings specifically, I was very desensitized because if I took all of this you know, dead person energy to say it lightly on and the emotion of the client that I was with, it was easier to desensitize and dissociate, but caught up to me big time and I'd harbored and kind of the energy was festering inside of me. Now I've learned to be very open hearted in this readings. And it's not as if I wasn't delivering the message in a kind hearted way. Um, but I just have now learned how to kind of be soul centered in that less selfish in terms of like, strong boundaries it's like actually this is a person who's grieving and i need to open my heart and comfort them in this moment because i'm giving them very sensitive information and i had to, and i'm instigating change within their lives i'm literally opening them up and kind of pioneering this new way to connect with spirit um when they've kind of you know had their loved ones passed over but i did have a fear of actually of it kind of slowing me down of losing momentum uh, but it's actually sped me up being able to open up and kind of, you know, um, connect with these people in such a beautiful kind of poetic way, almost like you're opening your heart, but you're delivering this really tough information, but you've got to hold the space. It's just so interesting. So I really wanted to let you guys know that example for some reason, you're just going to deliver things in a much more kind hearted way, but not that you weren't kind hearted before. That's the kind of message I want you guys to kind of sink into right now it's not as if you were like really selfish before you did it out of a way to protect yourself but now you'll be looking out for kind of everyone and knowing how you influence the energy of protection around you right i'm just gonna get one last card here one last card for you guys oh mercury didn't i just say this think learn communicate and network you guys like i said you're gonna be delivering messages oh my god Stop it. I love spirit, right? You guys will be delivering messages in much more of a kind-hearted, open, nurturing, and protective way. It's no longer about survival. It is about thriving for you. It is about opening your heart, opening up to the love that is within the room, knowing that it's safe to let go of all of those survival tendencies. And now it's safe to kind of be that brave, pioneering spirit who thinks in an original way, who does things in an original way, who knows how to create magic in the material. That is your reading today. I hope you enjoyed that definitely like subscribe comment share all of the things below if you want to work with me on a deeper level and kind of see what offerings that i have definitely click the link in the description below as well and you can find ways to work with me like i said on a much deeper level than this yes we can go much deeper i hope you experienced a touch of magic after today's video guys i will see you next time in the next reading tomorrow's reading is a manifesting generator reading if you are that in human design if you have no idea what type you are in human design type it into google human design type and profile and you can pop your astrological kind of birth details in there and see if you're a manager and if you are check out tomorrow's reading if not we do soul purpose and career check-in on thursday have a great day everyone bye